President Donald Trump has pledged to focus on killing advanced subjugation and human trafficking in 2018, liberating 25 million people around the world. In a White House explanation, Trump has proclaimed the primary month of the new year to be National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month, and has pledged that his organization would annihilate the shrewdness of oppression. Conservative at Tribune.com reports, human trafficking is an advanced type of the most seasoned and most primitive kind of misuse, the Friday discharge read. It has no place in our reality. This month, we don't just think about this horrifying reality. We likewise promise to do all in our energy to end the awful routine with regards to human trafficking that sicknesses honest casualties around the globe. The White House said in regards to 25 million individuals are as of now being oppressed around the world for both sex and work, which the declaration said was a sickening wrongdoing inconsistent with our exceptionally mankind. Human traffickers go after their casualties by promising an existence of expectation and more prominent open door, while conveying just subjugation, the discharge read. Rather than conveying individuals to better lives, traffickers ridiculously benefit from the work and drudge of their casualties, who they compel, through savagery and terrorizing, to work in massage parlors and manufacturing plants, on ranches and angling vessels, in private homes, and in incalculable businesses. In the declaration, Trump recorded the measures his organization had effectively taken in its first year to dispense with human trafficking. In February, I marked an executive order to disassemble transnational criminal associations, including those that sustain the wrongdoing of human trafficking, the discharge read. My interagency task force to monitor and combat trafficking in persons has improved coordinated effort with different countries, organizations, common society associations, and survivors of human trafficking. The Department of Health and Human Services has set up another national preparing and specialized help focus to fortify our medicinal services industry's hostile to trafficking reaction. The Department of State has contributed $25 million to the Global Fund to End Modern Slavery, on account of the basic requirement for cross-country cooperative activity to counter human trafficking, the discharge proceeded. The Department of Labor has discharged an inventive business-centered versatile application that backings private segment endeavors to destroy constrained work from worldwide supply chains. What's more, this month, I will sign into law S. 1536, the Combating Human Trafficking in Commercial Vehicles Act and S. 1532, the No Human Trafficking on Our Roads Act, the President's announcement included. These bills will keep the individuals who submit trafficking offenses from working business vehicles, enhance hostile to human trafficking coordination inside federal organizations and crosswise over state and nearby governments, and enhance endeavors to perceive, avoid, and report human trafficking. While this isn't the principal National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month, then President Barack Obama made a comparable revelation about January 2017, it is the first to happen completely under the Trump Organization, which has made battling transnational criminal associations a noteworthy accentuation of its law authorization technique. In September, Ivanka Trump influenced a discourse to the United Nations to General Assembly swearing that the president was bringing the full power and weight of our administration to shoulder against human trafficking. This January, that implies that National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month is something other than a message from the White House, and the verification is in the organization's achievements over the previous year.